have a successful relationship with God. The people, listen, could identify with Jacob. They knew if God worked that thing out with Jacob, somebody who we all know is not perfect, he has messed up in his life. He came from a jacked up family. But God still blessed him. And if God worked it out with Jacob, then hey, guess what? The sky's the limit for the old me. And chapter psychology in the text, as Barry, verses 7 and verse 11 of the same chapter say the exact same thing. That's because God has to remind you more than once in your life that he's God. And beside him, there is no other. He's still with you. It was so nice. He had to say it twice. And once you realize God is with you, you won't waste time on things that do not matter. See, people of God, we waste so much energy on being anxious for the next thing. Anxious for the next blessing. Anxious for the next piece of money. Anxious for the next breakthrough. You better be thankful for where you are right now. He has done marvelous things. Praise the Lord. See, we can get tired from surmising and contemplating about what may happen. We invest so much in trying to predict and pontificate the outcome when all we really got to do, as Barry, is trust God. If you trusted Him yesterday, you got to trust Him for tomorrow. That's when you really need to sit down somewhere and just trust God for your situation. See, all of that wasted energy could be put into times of prayer, organized for a ministry, uh, rehearsing for the choir, uh, volunteering for the homeless, uh, being a blessing to somebody else. Uh, see, while you're losing sleep, uh, trying to figure it out, uh, God has already planned uh, a way of escape for you. Uh, he just has to let you know uh, He's still with you. Take your name, He's still with you. He's still with you. And so, and so as I have up through, in sitting down, you must acknowledge the presence of God. And then he will remind you of his presence in your life. But my God has to do it so he can get to work in your life. Watch this. Verse 8 says, Come, behold the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. See, it took verses 1 through 7 for you to get out of God's way. Mm -hmm. So by verse 8, you can see what the Lord has done for you. Look at the text. Verses 8 through 10 are what biblical scholars have recognized as a moment of celebration even in my time of judgment. Mm -hmm. What does that mean, Pastor Whipple? Well, when the time of judgment comes and, and God will stand to assess all people, it will cause rage in the land. But the blessing comes this morning as God will be the defense of his people because his people now trust God. They had to get out the way long enough as there is for God to work. They had to trust the message God was going to deliver in their lives. They had to hold true to the vision of liberation God had for Jerusalem. It was a message you can trust. Because you know for yourself, Asbury, there are some messages that you cannot trust. Every time you hear a so-called preacher, every time you hear a messenger, somebody who declares anything that is anti the message of God in Christ Jesus, you know you cannot trust it. Because by trusting the false message, you now distrust your God. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather to trust my God and not trust man than to trust man and not trust my God. But that's what 
why I can't stress enough uh, the importance of worship in your life. Uh, that's where you build trust uh, with God. Uh, and through your moments of worship, uh, you can hear the true message uh, of God uh, for your individual yeah. life. Uh, you hear it through a song. Yes, you hear it through a preacher, huh? mm-hmm. but you hear it when you stand still huh? and know yes. that yes, he is God. Yes. Watch this, Aunt Barry. Yes. You see, your worship will build relationship. Mm-hmm. Your relationship will build trust. Mm-hmm. And with your trust, you'll get closer to God. Mm-hmm. When you get closer to God, you'll be reminded where your help comes from. My help comes from the Lord. See, I hear the right message. I'll follow my path. I'll go His way because He is my help. Not my will, but Thy will be done. I don't know about you, Adbury, but I'm trusting my God. He's the God of the intellect and the spirit. He's the God of the yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He's the God of my issues and your issues. I know him as the answer to all of my health problems. He's the God who makes all things well. He's the God of my joys, my hopes, and my pain. My, my God knows my thoughts are far off. I, I've got to trust him. I will trust him. I must trust my God. Mm-hmm. Understand that, sir. When you trust him, you're actually walking in humility. Mm -hmm. And then you can now receive some supernatural blessings Mm -hmm. in your life. You see, David discovered out of everything he did in life, it was when he put down his ego, put down his desires, Mm -hmm. asked forgiveness of his sin, and followed God's path. That's when life really opened up for David. Mm-hmm. When he got out of the way, yeah. when he sat down somewhere and surrendered who he was to God, that's when God could really bless him. Mm-hmm. I'm just letting you know, Asbury, something's got to be sat down yeah. in your life. Yeah. Uh, it has to be put to rest uh, in order for my God to work. Uh, ego's got to be sat down. Uh, church position's got to be sat down. Uh, personal agendas must be put to rest. Uh, attitudes must go. Uh, God will rise up in this place. Uh, even if I sit down now, I know i got enough faith in me to trust God. To raise me up later, I just gotta trust my God. Yes. yes. I'm about for yeah. You see, Asbury, this reminds me when I was a child and it was beginning to storm outside. My parents would quickly tell me not only to sit down somewhere, but I had to cut off the TV, yeah. well, the lights, yeah. all the electronics yeah. in the house. I didn't understand because in my mind it was raining outside. Mm. So how could it hurt the house inside? Mm. My parents explained whatever I would do, watch this, in this moment now would help me out later. If something happens in here because of the storm out there, we want you to be safe. Mm. So find yourself a seat and sit down somewhere. Well, I got out of the way. I was able to be sustained during the storm, and I saw God be God. See, when God is at work, when God is in the place, there was so much you can do. That's why you should trust Him and be safe in His presence. That's the decision you have to make now so my God can bless you later. He keeps you safe in the middle of your storm. That's why verse 11 says, The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. He said it again to remind you of who He is. 
things. Uh, and in these winters then, uh, I know things are going to get better uh, in my life. Uh, in these winters then, uh, I won't have to worry about today. Uh, I'll just hope for tomorrow. Uh, in these winters then, uh, then I know I'm safe. Uh, I'm safe. Uh, I'm safe in His arms. Uh, is there anybody in the Asbury Church uh, who can say right now, uh, you're safe. Uh, you're safe. Uh, you're safe from hurt, harm, and danger. Safe from the attack of the enemy. Uh, I'm safe because uh, I'm covered uh, by the Father. Mm. Well, here's the best part of the text and the best part of the story I'm about through. Uh, tell me, child, to wake up and going home. See, my daddy fixed us good when the rain started coming. Uh, when the rain started uh, and we were acting fidgety in the living room, uh, my daddy simply said, uh, sit on it. Uh, because at this point, uh, you really can't do nothing uh, while God is at work. Uh, so you might as well sit on it. Uh, stop squirming. Uh, stop worrying uh, and just sit on it uh, until the storm passes uh, in your life. Uh, sit on it. Uh, if God is with you, uh, if you really trust Him, uh, then you can sit on it. Uh, that's what you got to learn to do, Asbury. Uh, sit on it. Uh, what do you mean, Pastor Wimble? Well, sit on it uh, doesn't mean give up uh, and it doesn't mean quit. Uh, but it means you must be patient uh, while my God is at work. Uh, so do me a favor, Asbury. Uh, when you're in between uh, moments of your life uh, where you're too far to turn back uh, and you're not at your destination, uh, just sit on it. Uh, you can sit on it in the house this morning. Uh, while he's opening doors for you, uh, sit on it. Uh, until your change comes, uh, sit on it. Uh, until your body is healed, uh, sit on it. Uh, you can sit on it uh, until the lion and the lamb uh, lay down together. Uh, sit on it uh, until justice rolls down like the waters uh, and righteousness like an ever flowing stream. Uh, sit on it. Uh, sit on it. Uh, so God can be God. Uh, yes, oh, my God, I'm feeling it uh, like you need to be feeling it. Uh, see, the problem is uh, we've been anxious for too long. Uh, we've been moving around for too long. Uh, and every once in a while, uh, God has to tell you to sit on it. Uh, you got to sit on it.